joined by our third in-studio guest today. We have our very good friend Cheryl Rosenthal from the Oshkosh Area Humane Society here to tell us all about what they do over there and how we can support them as well as a special event they have coming up. So without further ado, Cheryl, <laughs> welcome and thanks so much for coming in oh, today. Thank you for having us. It's yes. always so much fun to come and visit. Yes, I know. And we always have a lot more fun visiting you at the Humane Society <laughs> too. Well, we have, a, we have a few more friends there than we have Just here at the studio. Just a few studios, more, so. yeah. Well, we are here today to tell us um, first off about what the Humane Society is. For those of us who might not be very familiar with the Oshkosh Humane Society, kind of describe it for okay. us. Um, the Oshkosh Area Humane Society is a nonprofit organization that mm -hmm. takes in lost, stray, and abandoned animals in the city of Oshkosh, in the surrounding area. And we also do owner surrenders. Uh, if someone can no longer keep their pet, uh, we bring that animal in. We try to reunite a lot of animals that maybe are strays uh, back with their families. Um, and we help out by, you know, sometimes working with other shelters if they're overflowing. Uh, we help by taking some of those animals and trying to find them homes and animals that aren't claimed also to find them homes. But even more than that, uh, I think it's important for people to understand that we're also uh, an edu a great education resource. Um, there are a lot of programs that I do in the area schools. I have a lot of Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts that come and visit me and take tours and learn about basic uh, pet care and what animals need. Um, and. You know, so we're just a really great resource center uh, for anybody who has a pet concern. Um, we also have our behavior hotline where we help people if they have a barking dog or a cat oh, really? that's not using their litter box, they can contact us and we can try to get some answers for them. Yeah. Um, or, and if we can't help you, we're going to refu refer you to an animal specialist, somebody okay. who can help you. Wow. Um, so. So there's a there's well, a lot I'm of things. Well, I didn't even know that. We was also available. have our low cost spay neuter, yep. um, mm -hmm. uh, which is a transport. Um, it, it's just the list just goes on and on and on of the oh. things that we do. So uh, people should check out our website yes. and uh, or come and visit us and take a tour and find out all the things that we offer and. The majority of those things are free of charge. It's wow. open to the community. What a great resource here in Oshkosh. Mm -hmm. And you know, I'm glad that I asked you to give us more background on mm -hmm. that because it's not just a place that if you're looking to adopt, which is also a great place, that but is, it's not only that. That's always the that. first thing that people think of is, mm -hmm. oh, that's where you go to adopt an animal yeah. or that's where I go when I can't keep my pet anymore. Right. Uh, but we're so much more than that. Uh, yes. We're so much more involved in that. And, and it's important to know that, and that's what we're going to talk about is the walk for the animals. Um, 10 out of 10 animals that come to the shelter need some form of medical care. Mm -hmm. um, I'm always amazed at the number of animals, whether they're owner surrenders or strays, um, that have never been seen by a veterinarian. And whether they need um, a treatment for ear mites or fleas, um, or they need to be spayed or neutered, they all need some form of medical care. And so our walk for the animals is primarily to raise funds for our medical fund. Our Costs right now are well over, for just our medical for a year, is over $90,000. Oh so for Walk for the Animals, our goal this year is to raise $48,500. We want to raise um, a little bit more than half mm -hmm. um, for the animals. And um, that's a big goal, um, but last year we surpassed our goal, and so we have every confidence in our community and, and ourselves that we're gonna be able to raise that money to help animals. And it's definitely needed. Um, it's a great event. Tell us a little bit more about the Walk for the Animals. Where is it, when is it, and um, what The Walk it for the of? Animals will be taking place on September 17th out mm -hmm. at the um, Sunnyview Expo Center. Uh, registration begins at 8.30 and the event goes until noon. We have a lot of things going on, a lot of family fun. You do not need to have a pet to participate in this event. It's a pledge yes. walk. Um, you can form a team or walk by yourself, and you can see I'm wearing purple again. It All seems every out. time you see and me. And I wish we could see get a shot of your <laughs> shoes because you have your purple sparkly shoes on too. But you're just gonna have to come to the Purple Pride Parade to you, see to them. To see them, you'll have to come. Yes. To, uh, and so that's part of it is the Purple Pride Parade mm -hmm. uh, to dress up crazy in stuff that's purple. Wear your purple glasses. Uh, somebody told me I should have my hair done purple. I don't know if I'm quite that brave. <laughs> maybe there's a purple wig out there. Yeah, maybe that would work better. <laughs> um, so it's just a really fun morning. 
morning to raise money for the animals. And we do have some special attractions this year. Uh, the Wisconsin Ghostbusters are going to come, Fine. and they're going to have um, Ecto-1 is going to be there, the vehicle that really? the Ghostbusters drive. And uh, a visit from Kit, the car from Knight Rider. Mm. Um, the police department will be there, and Tranquil Tales will be there offering uh, 10 minute massages for some of the dogs that are attending. And we always have the favorite part of the walk, besides the walk, is are the free photographs. Everybody who comes can participate in having either a nice picture, a family picture done, or they can have um, use some of our silly prompts and uh, dress up in silly things that are purple and the photos are free of charge and it all everything we do we have a basket raffle a lot of things going on but every cent that is raised goes to our medical fund uh, mm -hmm. to help the animals and that's the biggest part too it's great to know that everything is going mm -hmm. to the the cause of this event which is for the air the Oshkosh right. area humane society's medical fund Correct. and we only have a couple minutes left and i know we wanted to give some some great success stories that have come out of your uh your office so tell this us about is, that this is why we're asking people to raise money mm -hmm. um and i don't know um if what pictures they're well, showing. Well, recently we had a, a kitten brought in or a okay. cat brought in okay tell us about her. um the kitten was just brought in a few days ago um, and that is Giselle, and she was found in a storage unit, roaming around a storage unit, and the person who brought her in just did not know what was wrong with her and didn't know how she could help her. her and we found out when she came in, she was full of lice, and she had a bot fly uh, embedded in her nose. And uh, that is the bot fly next to that quarter. Aye, aye, aye. Uh, and this is something that animals that are outside come in contact with quite often. Mm -hmm. um, flies lay their larvae in the grass and rabbits and cats, as they're walking through, they're sniffing the ground and that can get up in the nasal passages or it can get down into the throat. And this larvae lives on the host and in, beds itself and yes. this one got in the nose and so that's why she was unable to breathe but and this story has a happy ending this story has a happy ending i hope they're going to show her picture yes. this is just four days after uh there's giselle oh, um, she still has a little um crustiness around her nose uh, and from the lice and from the infection that was in her eyes mm -hmm. uh, but every day um, i went back to visit with her this morning and she was playing in her cage, Aww. pouncing and jumping. And uh, so check out our website. We'll be having more pictures of Giselle. But uh, this is what our medical fund uh, helps. This is Washington. He was brought into us again as a stray. He was about four months old. And you can see on here how huge his paw is paw. compared to the other. And the veterinarian figures that he must have mm -hmm. had uh, some type of puncture mm -hmm. or multiple punctures to his paw and then they got infected. And uh, we're happy to say that Winston, Winston, Washington has uh, gone on and uh, he, there he is he resting looks pretty happy now. in his new home, uh, <laughs> all healed up and with a new family to love him. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's all about, that is, is what getting them about. healthy and, and uh, ready to go home. And here we have um, Howie. Howie also came in as a stray. The person who brought him in said, I think this cat must be about 100 years old. Oh. And we thought he looked kind of like a werewolf when he first yeah, came he in. Did. He was all crusty and oh. just in really poor condition. And uh, he's 11 years old. He was neutered when he came in, so we knew that he had to belong to somebody at some time. Mm -hmm. And then after a number of weeks with us, uh, you can see the after that he's got a nice black, dark, shiny coat. Yes. And uh, that's what good food and shelter uh, can do for these animals. So, and, and medical. And, uh, yes, and that's what all these donations go for. Mm -hmm. And it's great that we that you brought in some examples because that's really what it's all about. Yeah, this the, is this is who you are helping. Animals. When you make yes. a donation or when you walk for the animals, it goes to help these animals that um, animals can't write checks, they can't raise no. money and get a job. Uh, so we need people to help us help them. Yes, and so once more before we wrap up, uh, date, time, location of the walk. Saturday, for the September seventeenth. 8.30 registration, walk goes from 8.30 to noon. Uh, there'll be food and fun for everybody. Yes. So check out our website, ohs.org, and be sure and like us on Facebook. And you're always posting awesome photos on Facebook to thank adoptable you. pets and great stories like Giselle and Washington. Right. So, all right, well, Cheryl, thanks so much for coming in. It's always a pleasure well, to have thank you. Thank you very and much. We'll see you very soon at the Walk for the Animals. Yes, you will. And don't forget to get your purple on. Yes, got to find some purple. <laughs> thanks, Cheryl. <laughs>
Oshkosh Today was supported in part by the Friends of OCM. And Aurora Healthcare, 855 Northwest Haven Drive. Set design provided by House of Flowers, 1920 Algoma Boulevard. Oshkosh Today, 